A drug habit ruined Ben Vanderbilt's promising career as a Madison cop and turned his life upside down. After going through cycles of homelessness, drug treatment, and a nearly successful suicide attempt, he's sober and dedicated to helping other addicts. He manages two sober houses, and he sponsors recovering addicts through the 12-step program that was the key to his own recovery. Vanderbilt shares his story to convey a message of hope to other recovering addicts. I, I was so um, just belligerent. I, I did not want anything to do with um, meetings and sponsors and the big book and all that stuff. Didn't want anything to do with it, and I fought tooth and nail against being involved in 12-step programs. But I just had no other options. I mean, my life was so miserable, and it was basically, it was either be dead or try something else, because what I was doing, the, the drug using just was not working. I mean, it hadn't worked for years, but I was still trying and trying to, you know, to make it work. It just wasn't working. And so, um, so gradually, through my time at this sober house, I start going to meetings, I get a sponsor, I start working the 12 steps. And slowly but surely, things start to turn around, and I start to feel a little bit better, and I start to get a little bit of hope that things might someday um, you know, turn out for me. Through the 12 steps, through working with a sponsor, through working with you know, drug and alcohol counselors and other people, they basically uh, you know, pretty much slapped me in the face and said, wait a second, you have got to step up here, and you've got to take some responsibility for your actions. Um, I went through a rigorous um, you know, journey through those 12 steps and um, with, uh, with a lot of help from a lot of people and a lot of support from a lot of people and had a complete transformation to where today um, I can sit before you and I can, I can you know, tell you, look, I, I screwed up and I screwed up badly um, and I did a ton of things that I regret, you know, I regret terribly. But what I can tell you is that today I don't do that. Today what I do is I try and live a life of honesty and an honorable life and a principled life. And I try and help people today because that's a huge part of working the 12 steps and getting into recovery is being of service to people. The bottom line is basically just that, you know, that there is a way out, um, that it can get, you can go down pretty far and that, um, that you can come out the other side. I was uh, maybe the biggest naysayer in the world about 12-step programs, but the reality is that they really work and, um, and that they, I believe today, saved my life. Um, I mean, I, there's no question that if I were continuing to use drugs, I would either be in prison or I would be dead. No question about it.